Okay, so the bi the biology uh, the area. Okay, basically stingless bee they are very abundant in the tropical area area lah. Okay, they, they, they those are their preferred habitat. Okay, and climate in the in the uh, tropical and also some of the subtropical area. Okay, including Nigeria. Okay, Nigeria, you have uh, from what I understand you have a tropical and subtropical. Okay. And uh, I know that there are stingless bee there. Even in Australia, do they do have the stingless bee? They call it native bee. Okay, and the some of the species they can okay live in four season in 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 Australia. So basically, they they are in the forest and savanna area. You can find find them abundantly, lah. Okay. So the uh, these are the one, two, three, four, five thing important thing that they they require require or they they collect. Okay, first is the nectar source of for the energy for the colony pollen, pollen from the flower, and nectar also from the flower and from the plants. Okay, Poll pollen basically uh, the, the definitely from the flower, so it's protein for growth, inclu including the younglings. Uh, water is for to cooling and metabolism. Okay, and uh, resin. Okay, okay, the, the to build the nest. Okay, to build the pots and also for defense. They use it for defense. Okay, and other like sand twigs, they mix mix it up. Okay, some of the resin with sand and twigs to to make a certain structure in the nest. Okay, so these are the. Uh, cast of uh, singles bee colony, so they have the queen. So commonly, the only one queen, can queen in in the singles bee. They could be two, but uh, uh, two maybe uh, one. The, the other is the young queen and then ready to perhaps to migrate. Or they, they are uh, normally uh, they, uh, they they is only one queen in one hive. Okay, so the singles beehive depend on the queen. Okay, without the queen, okay, uh, the colony may fall apart. Okay, what they do a good, good or strong colony when queen uh, died or queen somehow perish, okay, they will uh, hatch, try to hatch a new queen from the brood cell, queen brood cell. And, uh, okay. And they do have drones. Drones are uh, uh, basically male, male. Uh, the number of the, the number of the hundreds. Okay, they 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 play uh, an important part uh, in in the colony. I will, I will explain later. Come to that later. And workers, there are thousand. Uh, it can be ten thousand to to twenty thousand, uh, depending on the size. Okay, workers basically female. Okay, female. Yeah, female, basically female. So, um, the the one that go out to collect uh, the resources are mainly the workers or the female bees. Okay. Uh, these are the okay uh, stages, the picture. Okay, uh, from larva, okay, to pupa and to the adult. Okay, so you can see. Um, so the larvae from the cell, uh, so hatch from the cell. We don't call it eggs. Uh, eggs is the, the different term. Yeah. No, uh, not yeah. That that no, mean that they, they do not lay the egg. I mean the when the queen. Ah, perish. If yeah. Perish. They now hatch new queen. Yeah, we try to hatch a new queen. Yeah, but if the queen still living, uh -huh. this egg can stay for a long time. Yeah, S stay can uh, the 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 eggs or the cell can stay dormant until they require or they need. <laughs> yeah, I I don't I'm not the ent entomologist, but what I understand, uh, they do know how to tell the queen is like. Um, not healthy, uh, they, they, they can know 
Okay, and then it's time to have a new queen. Okay, probably when the new queen is hatched, the old queen is still there. Okay, but wha what people telling me when there are two queens, probably the new queen will migrate, make bring few of the drones and worker with with her. And they, what they claim, uh, the queen, the new, the queens will battle to the death. I don't know whether they're correct or not. Battle, battle. 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 Fight. Uh, but I never seen it in my own eyes. But they don't know what they they tell uh. Okay. So there all can only be one queen and uh, yeah. The cells usually it's directly from the queen or from the water. The the from the queen. Queen will lay the cell. It will lay. Uh, it will. From time to time, you will always laying the cells. Uh, we'll see. We'll see later how the structure uh, of the stingless bee, and the cell will like mature, and then it's it's like a tower. When one bottom is mature, she will go down and lay new eggs, the new cell, go on and on until she dies. Huh? Yeah, that's a job. Yeah. The size are the same. Different and other. The cell. Yeah, the size of the queen. Is it the same? Different, different. Okay. I'll be sure. Show. <coughs> Definitely different. Okay. We show you. Yeah. So this is the uh, picture of the workers, uh, workers. Okay, from larva, pupa to adult. Okay. Okay, this is the queen. This is the size, and they have big abdomen, huge abdomen. So basically, the abdomen contain the cell. Okay, okay. So that's the uh, life cycle. Okay, they lay eggs. So fertilize. Basically, fertilize eggs. Okay. Uh, there, there are two types of eggs. Later, uh, the fertilized eggs and non-fertilized. But basically, in in general, she will lay fertilized eggs. Okay. Okay, from uh, and then the queen larva feed on royal jenny pupa and the virgin queen and so on. This is the 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 life cycle. Okay, okay, the queen. Okay, I mean, it, I mean it when it dies, the new queen larva will uh, revive or emerge. Uh, it the the lifespan is about four to seven years. Four to seven years. Okay, after seven years or after four years, they will new. Have new queen, eh? okay. So the the queen okay control the colony by releasing pheromones. Eh? Pheromones, pheromones. It's like, uh, but they they excrete the pheromones, okay, to control the colony, okay. So they they by releasing different pheromones from her body, members of the colony interpret and act accordingly. Eh? The members of the colony workers, okay, you do this, you do that, okay, okay. So one example is the pheromone, which suppresses the laying ability of all worker of the nest. So basically, they from the study, workers basically can, but but the queen will suppress the that ability, yeah? okay. So that's why I say strong colony. Okay, somehow they can survive without the queen for a long time, but some non-strong colony they cannot survive. Okay, they will perish. Okay. So the queen basically will mate with a single drone from a different colony, lah. What, what? Then store all the sperm she need for egg fertilization during her lifetime. Okay, this is uh, done. Uh, the one study said this is done in flight. The, the, when she, when she, she's still a virgin, go out, okay, mate with the drone, okay, just one lifetime. They, what they say, they, 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 that's it, okay, and then come back to the hive, and then become a queen, okay. <coughs> uh, so fertilized eggs. Are laid and will develop into worker or queen, fertilized eggs. 
So it will become worker cell or queen cell. But queen cell basically bigger, bigger. Okay, queen uh, worker cell and drone cell similar size. But some people, experienced people, can tell the difference of the, the from the shape of the queen, uh, the worker, or the drone cell. But I cannot tell so far. Okay, but I can tell where is the position. But uh, a queen cell definitely is much bigger. It will be around the the uh, cell tower, but it's much bigger. Okay, it's much bigger. Okay. And the unfertilized egg will develop into drone, drone larva. Okay. Okay. And then the larva basically uh, develop into queen. Okay. This video. Okay. That's the queen. Can you see? Don't look at the fingers. Ah, there. That's the queen. Okay. That's the queen. Okay. This is what we. Okay. Last time we transfer the colony into a new box because the log hive is already you know uh, decayed <laughs> almost broke. so you can see okay. yeah again yeah so you see the abdomen is large yeah okay and then all the workers it's okay we will rewind a few times for you to see once you take away the queen, the other colony will follow you. Basically, they will transfer the yeah. colony to another hives. Yeah, we we basically we we transfer into the box. Huh? So technically, they will be if there is no queen, they will be disoriented. Uh, disoriented. So we have to make sure that one to find the queen. Yeah, is there. Is we have to make sure the queen is there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's why one of the objective when transferring, okay, is to like locate the the queen. Okay. We don't want to step on the queen. As you see, put the canvas on the bottom. Mm. You see on the ground at the back, we put the canvas, uh, all uh, bright color so we can <laughs> spot. So fortunately, this time we spot it uh, the bee on one of the uh, piece of the uh, open wood. Of the hive, so we we locate, okay, and then we immediately put lah, put the queen into the the box, the box new box hive, okay. <coughs> okay, I will show the other uh, regarding the nest. <coughs>